Okay, you've already seen my video on the Anchor 521 power station or solar generator. Well, a lot of people wanted to see something about this solar panel, so today we're gonna show you the Thunderbolt 100 watt solar panel briefcase. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony and I live in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It is Hurricane Alley, man. And we're in hurricane season right now. Well, we've had the power go out a few times here and I've had to rely on little power banks and stuff just to get my phone by and whatnot. But what about a portable refrigerator? What about a CPAP, which I don't use, but a lot of people do and they can't sleep without it. Not only that, but I use so many electronics and I figured if I could harness the sun just a little bit to charge maybe my iPad, my phone, maybe my cameras and things like that, well, that would be great, wouldn't it? So I started searching and I had actually seen some solar panels at Harbor Freight and I was like, well, maybe I'll give those a shot. I found the Anchor 521 and I also saw that the connector for this went right into that. So I was like, hey, that's a match made in heaven. And I gotta tell you, this one's rated at 100 watts. I get about 60 to 65 watts in direct sunlight or even, I don't know, I've gotten 45 to 60 watts even with one of the panels partially covered by shade directly into that 521 from Anchor and I, I like it a lot. This one's a little bit heavy, it's a little bulky and I do have a foldable one from Rock Pals coming. Pick that up on Amazon Prime Day. But I've heard that those just aren't as robust as a real glass panel. That's what we've got here. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, hopefully it's not too windy out here. So let's go get into this. So you get this nice case and it just zips down like that. It's somewhat padded, it's not super padded. And then this just slides right out of here. Now there were some silica gel packets in here when it shipped and one of those things had, or when I bought it, and one of those things had broken open so basically it's uh, the little beads were rolling around inside of here so if you hear something like that it's not broken it was just the little silica gel beads and they can be kind of hard to get all out of there so there's two latches one two just unlatch those and then you just open it up just like this And once you do, you'll see all the components in here. It comes with this adapter. Of course, this is a standard connector right here. And then this is a eight millimeter adapter, which works perfect for my anchor solar power generator. So that's pretty cool. Very easy. And then you'll see right here and right here are the, the kickstands. So this thing's gonna fold out just like that. So once you've got it out like this, you've got two kickstands. And these are nice sturdy kickstands. I mean, they're not just little wimpy kickstands. These just pop out like that and then you just layer down. Now they're not really adjustable. I mean, I have done it. You can do it a little bit. But you wanna to try to make sure that you get them even whenever you do that. Woo, it's a hot one out here today. But it's just that simple, that's it. It's nice because it folds up into a briefcase type thing. And then when you're done, we're just gonna go like this and put that down, pull this up, put that down, and we fold them like that. And then I'm gonna pick it up and put it like this. Make sure that the legs are completely in. I always pull this up so I can make sure that it doesn't get pinched in there. And there we go. Put your latches back on. And goes right back inside the bag. And the bag is pretty sturdy, so I'm not worried about that at all. Handle right through there and you're good to go. It does come with a manual and safety instructions, so that's always good. They give you a lot of information in here, some of which I'm still learning to understand. Uh, I'm not claiming to be an expert in solar at all. I'm just kind of finding my way and you can too, that's the point. So yeah, that's an SAE connector that it comes standard with. And then they also have the uh, adapter that came right with it, so nice. So there you go, the Thunderbolt Solar Briefcase. It's 100 watts, and I can't remember what I paid for it. I think there might've been a special going on at Harbor Freight, but I think it's about 189 to 199, which is pretty standard for 100 watt 
solar panels. Looking at the specs on the website, it says 100 watts total produces an average of 31 amp hours or 500 watt hours per day. Ultra tough tempered glass makes this solar panel ideal for camping and outdoor activities. Advanced monocrystalline solar cells for higher efficiency, longer life, and best size to power ratio. Lightweight and portable at just 15 pounds. It feels like it's heavier than that. Maybe it's just because it's awkward shaped. Rugged aluminum frame with hinge and kickstand for easy setup. And it comes with the SAE connector for most portable power stations and a heavy duty canvas bag for storage and transport. You can see on the screen right now, the further specifications, if you wanna go ahead and read through all those, feel free to pause it or just go to the website. I'll have a link down in the description. What I need now is a very robust power station or solar generator because I wanna start charging my electric skateboards using that. I mean, how great would that be? I've got a lot of electric skateboards, my electric bike and whatever else. If I could start charging those with the sun, awesome and we also do a lot of going to the beach with our vehicles and stuff like that so it'd be nice to be able to plug those things in and not have to worry about where the power is coming from so i can see that in the future this is definitely something I, i'm one of those people once i dive into a rabbit hole i dive deep into a rabbit hole so i can already predict that i'll be doing as a matter of fact i ordered a couple things from amazon prime day another solar generator that we'll be taking a look at as well if there's something that you'd like me to include on the channel as far as this stuff goes or whatever let me know down in the comments and well i'll take a look but if you'd like to follow along on my journey well you can go ahead and click that subscribe button down there and there's a notification bell if you click both of those or tap them well you'll get notifications when i upload new videos i've got links down there for my social media as well if you'd like to click those and i also have a thanks button down there because it's not inexpensive it's not cheap to run a channel like this so if you'd like to donate to the channel you can click that thank you button give anything from a dollar to whatever you want to give that would be great if you're a company that makes this stuff hit me up i've got my social media down there you can do that as well i'd be really interested to see what you offer thank you so much for your support here in this channel from the bottom of my heart and that's going to do it for this episode we'll catch you next time on the vapor trail channel <laughs>